what will win in a drag race between a Rimac Nevera, a Red Bull KTM MotoGP bike, and a crazy Suzuki Hayabusa that's been supercharged? Well, we're going to find out because I'm going to race them over the standing quarter mile. I'm Matt Watson, and you're watching Car Wow. Buy, sell, Car Wow. Now let me tell you about the Rimac Nevera. We've got four electric motors, obviously four wheel drive with crazy torque vectoring and all that kind of stuff. And combined, it has 1,914 horsepower and 2,360 newton meters of torque. It's fitted with a big 120 kilowatt hour battery pack. As a result, it is quite heavy. Tips to scales at around 2.3 tons. It's also very expensive, 2 million pounds. Now this particular car I'm sat in is the one that Rimac actually uses for testing. So it's a normal production car that customers buy, but it's fitted with some racing seats, it's got some electrical measuring equipment, and it's done quite a lot of miles for testing. Other than that, it's exactly what customers buy. So the performance is realistic as to what a customer car would do. But what about the other machines? Well, let's speak to their riders, starting with Danny Pedrosa, who has won 31 MotoGPs. Hi Danny, how are you? Hello. Are you ready for this race? Yes, looking forward. Tell me about your bike. Give me the stats on it. Yes, yeah, so this bike has uh, around 270 horsepower. It weighs 157 kilos. It's a B4 engine, 1000 cc. And the torque is around 120 newton meter. And what do you think is going to be your major issue today? Will it be putting the traction down, keeping the wheel on the ground? A mixture of both. I think the most concern I have it will be the traction because thankfully this year with the rear height device and the front start device on the suspensions, then I, I would avoid the wheelie. So I, I would say traction is the most important. Okay, well, good luck. Let's find out uh, a bit more about that Suzuki Hayabusa from Chris Northover from Bike World. Hello, Chris. You all right? Hello, Matt. Good to be back back and uh, I've got some more horsepower this time. Yeah, you've got quite a lot of horsepower for a bike, haven't you? Yeah, <laughs> you could argue it might be too much, but we'll find that out today. So this is the TTS Suzuki Super Booster. It's kind of built as the bike Suzuki should have made in Richard Albans's own words. 380 horsepower, 10,800 RPM. It uses a custom-made supercharger, got 18 PSI of boost, and it makes 340 newton meters of torque in a bike that weighs around 250 kilos. So it is an absolute animal. So what are you worried about in this race? What, what's going to be your problem? Not dying. <laughs> Speaking of which, you almost did recently, didn't you? Tell us. Yeah, <laughs> I knew you were going to bring that up. All the stupid things I do, I fell off on a cruisy evening trail ride with some friends. Yeah, did myself a fair amount of shoulder and rib cage and, and lung damage. So I'm riding with a clip wing today. Honestly, mate, huge respect to coming out, riding that monster. You're an absolute nutcase. And testament to how bikers are on another level. To people who drive cars such as me. Anyway, before we race, if you're thinking about selling your car, you can do it through CarWag because it's dead easy. All you have to do is upload some photos of your car, give a brief description, then dealers all across the country will bid on your car. You just pick the highest offer, they will come to your house, take the car away and put the money straight into your account. It is so easy. Now, before we race, we're going to do the customary car wow sound check. Go on, Chris. Can you rev up your bike? Can we have a listen to it? God, that sounds like a car. That is really, really kind of like deep and angry sounding. Danny, let's have a listen to your MotoGP bike. I've got a feeling it's going to be louder. That sounded the meanest. Obviously, this is electric, it doesn't make a noise, so I have to make my own noise, as is like the norm on a car wide drag race if you're racing an electric vehicle. So here we go. That was my version of a um, superbike. Anyway, if you, if you like this kind of nonsense and you haven't done so already, please make sure you're subscribed to this channel and hit the bell icon to turn your notifications on. That way you won't miss a single upload. Now let's race. Let's get the riders to put the helmets on and we'll get going.
It's coming back! It's coming back! First of all, I'm gonna to go to you, Danny, because obviously electric car, four-wheel drive, off the line, really good. Your launch looked pretty good, though. Not bad, but you had so much traction at the first meters. I know. I, you were winning by a lot. I was winning by a lot to begin with, and I was watching you over my shoulder, and you were gaining. I think if you get a slightly better launch... It's going to be there. I, I didn't see the finish. I yeah. think you won, no? <laughs> you did the right thing that you kept on going. That's the yeah, right yeah. thing to do. Right, we're going to do it again, but first, Chris. I had a, a cold tyre. A cold tyre? Yeah, it just I literally will spun from here to the quarter mile. Is your tyre now warm because of all warm. the spinning? It's done, it's done a quarter mile burnout. It's now warm. <laughs> shall, shall we get into it very quickly Straight away, then? yeah. Let's go again. Come on. He's got me on the line, come on, come on! Come on! Wow. Okay, <laughs> I was a little bit surprised about that. So Danny, you won that. So that's one to me and one to you. We should definitely do best two out of three. I'm, I'm sure losing it. You reckon? No, yeah. you never know you won that one. Let, let's find out, best two out of three. Chris, do you reckon you can get a better launch? I reckon I can, yeah. But we as motorcyclists are winning. Does that count? What, in terms of overall points? Well. <laughs> <laughs> All right then. Okay then, let's go for a third race. Chris is away. Here comes Danny. He's coming. Come on. <laughs> Carl wins and obviously it takes a load of skill an absolute load of skill to launch this especially compared to your bike your bike Chris <laughs> is so easy isn't it oh it's a breeze it does it by itself <laughs> does it by itself do you know what Danny I think you need to see how hard it is to be me to do my job so I reckon you get off your bike and you actually try to launch this car really really hard to do and maybe you race Chris Sure. Should we do it? Ah, looking forward. So, what's the technique? Brake and gas. Okay, so this is really, really difficult. It takes a lot of skill, Danny. I'm not sure whether you're going to have the ability to mm -hmm. do it properly. What you need to do is turn a knob over there so it says D. Is it changing? D. Okay, so you've got it in D. Left foot on the brake. Right. Hold it hard. Floor the throttle. There we go. It says ready for launch. And then what you do, don't do it yet. Then you lift off the brake. That's it. It's a really hard, okay, much harder than your GP bike. Much okay. harder, okay? Ready? <laughs> no, no, not yet, not yet. We've got to race. Ah, We're racing. Okay. okay, okay. So the first time you're going to do it is in this race. So, quarter mile race against the tuned Hayabusa. What's the quickest car you've ever driven so far? I think the Spider last year. The Porsche 918 Spider? Yeah. <laughs> Here. Yeah, okay. That's the quickest car yeah. you've driven? Yeah. I'll oh, get ready for this then. A uh, little tip, you might want to just put your head back. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, you'll see. Oh, yes. Blimey. I'll tell you what, now, Danny, just floor the accelerator, floor it, just go bang. Wah! <laughs> <laughs> what? Unbelievable, the head is like... 
like <laughs> yeah you enjoy that yeah unbelievable you don't get to have this experience many times i would like to try your bike but i don't think it would work out quite so well if i tried to launch your machine <laughs> <laughs> Well, with a bit of practice. Yeah, right. <laughs> There's no chance. You want to go again? Well, Fine for would, me. would you like? You, Fine for me. Really? Yeah, yeah. You definitely want to go again? Yeah, yeah. All right then. <laughs> go on then. Three, two, one. Oh, he had a good launch. out too soon. No, it was the quarter mile, no? No, no, you backed out a little bit soon. Yeah? Yeah, but it doesn't matter, you still won. You did that before in one of our drag races. If you want to see which drag race that was, click on the pop-out banner up there and follow the link in the description below. You still won that race though, but go find out what it was. So then what exactly happened? Well, the Rimac won, completing the standing quarter mile in 8.5 seconds. The MotoGP bike came second in 8.6 seconds, while the Suzuki was last. It took 9.6 seconds to do the standing quarter mile. Now we have a rolling race from 30 miles an hour to the half mile. Everybody level. When we reach the line, we're going to go full throttle. Ready? Oh, it's me and Danny. Come on, car. He's going to beat me to the quarter mile. I think he might have beat me. I was reeling him back in, but that was so close. He had me at the quarter mile, but half mile, I don't know. And I was doing like 210 mile an hour. Same thing again, this time from 50 miles an hour. Right, here we go, everyone's level, everyone's level. Go. My God, that was interesting. We were like neck and neck at first, but then you, you just pulled past Danny. Yes, I, I, I did uh, I did quite felt we were pretty even. And then by the mid part, I was like leading you by a tiny bit and I felt like confident, but then I also start to feel my rear tire wiggling. And I, I was a bit concerned then. And I knew I couldn't back off because you were just right behind me. <laughs> That's the proper racer in him, that is. It just keeps on going. Speaking of which, <laughs> I mean, Chris, tell me your story. What was going on with your bike? Because if, if he was starting to wiggle a bit, were you just constantly spinning and wiggling the whole <laughs> Honestly, time? Honestly, this thing is an absolute animal. So that's, yeah, that 30 mile an hour race, as soon as I started accelerating, big, big one tire fire, tire smoke, sliding, wheel spinning. And, and, it, and with a race so close as this, that's all it takes. Just brake traction and, and you guys disappear and I'm there fishtailing down the runway, crying. <laughs> to be fair, that thing's absolutely crazy. To even ride it, especially when your body's so broken right now. <laughs> I'm thankful it's not more broken now, but this thing's street legal. That's the best bit. I could ride this home. Would you ride that, Danny? Well, not because he's a Suzuki, but... <laughs> <laughs> Good answer. <laughs> so you, you contractually cannot ride it. Yeah. Otherwise, you'd love to. The guy is riding with a broken body. What is it, broken? Ribs, shoulder, lung. Yeah, so normally we do a brake test, but we're not going to because it's not fair on Chris. You're too kind. <laughs> too kind, yeah. And um, I'm sure you don't mind not doing a brake test, Danny. I know I'm going to lose, but... Do you know what? If you want to watch Danny 
do a brake test on his bike and it's crazy what happens. Click on the pop-out banner up there or follow the link in the description below to go do that, all right? Anyway, I think we're going to wrap this video up. I want to say a huge thanks to Chris Northover. Thank you very much, Chris. Thank you, man. Thank you very much, Danny Pedroza. Thank you very much, Red Bull MotoGP team. Really appreciate it for lending us your bike. And to... It's Richard Albans from TTS who lent us the insane Hayabusa. Thank you very much, Richard. Really appreciate it. Now, if you want to watch some more videos, you can just click on those windows there. And if you want to sell your car the easy way, then just click on that box there to go to CarWan. You just upload some photos, give a brief description, then dealers all across the country will bid on your car. It's easy. See you next time.